Hey everyone, and welcome to another tutorial on MYAB Essentials. My name is Samuel Burmeister, and I'm the owner at Tall Books. Today, we're going to go through setting up employees in MYAB Essentials in the payroll. So, MYAB Essentials payroll is very simple at the moment, very easy to set up, but you've got to make sure you select the right criteria so that the pay run is processed correctly according to the correct award. Now, I've already gone to the payroll tab here at the top, and from the drop down, I'm in the employees section. So, this is where you enter in a new employee. So, from this screen, you'll see any employees that you have existing in this demo file. I have quite a few here. And we're going to add a new one. So, just click on add employee. Okay, so the first thing you want to go through here is the main employee details. So we're just going to enter in our employee's name, test employee, um, set their basic details up. And we'll just give them the first of the first, 1990. And their start date will set for the beginning of this month. Obviously, you don't need to enter in a finish date until the employee is terminated or moves on. Um, you can give them a job title if you'd like. You've also got some records here on the right-hand side. Uh, what you might want to do is enter in their email in case you use your pay, which I'll explain in a moment. So basically, your pay is a new function in Essentials, which allows employees to enter in their timesheets remotely and view their leave details. And that way, when you get to processing the pay run, it's pre-populated their hours for the week, which of course you can then adjust on the spot if need be. Down here in the pay details, you've got the tax file number area, um, which is important to enter in obviously. And you can set whether this employee is an annual or hourly based employee. This is important to set up as well as it will determine basically the rate for the employee and this will automatically populate. The rate can't be changed in the pay run, only the amount of hours. So make sure you set this. And let's see if I will accept the dummy TFN. So in terms of banking um, essentials, you can upload a batch file to the bank, which is awesome. This is a newer feature in essentials. They are bringing this in for suppliers as well. So basically, you can nominate the bank account that you want this to be distributed to, or you can set up two different bank accounts that it goes to by percentage or amount. Okay, so once we're done here, we can click on next and deal with the tax. So based on the TFN declaration um, form that you've got the employee to fill out, you can then select these choices. So we're just going to select some of the common ones here. And this will help the system automatically determine the tax table to use. So make sure you get this correct. Sometimes um, I've had questions from employers about why the tax isn't calculating correctly, it's most likely this tax section here doesn't have the tax-free threshold selected or something similar. Um, once you've done that, you can tick the declaration showing that you have received that form completed. Click Next. Okay, so super. Great thing about Essentials, for no extra, you can have SuperStream compliance. So you set up their super fund here, along with all of the details for the employee. And you will then have the option to create a super file that you can upload to MYAB's super portal, um, which will serve as a clearinghouse for you. So each employee's super amounts are paid through the portal, come out of your bank account, and are distributed to the corresponding fo um, funds for you as well. So very handy, and that's no extra charge. So if you've got multiple employees you're paying super to, definitely fill out this area and take advantage of it. So um, the last thing to note here on this page, you can alter the super guarantee um, contribution amount 
Um, generally left at 9.5 um, at the time of recording this video. That's the standard rate. Please note here, at the moment, Essentials does not cater for anything besides the $450 threshold. So whilst most industries fall under that threshold, um, there are some like certain um, hospitality um, options there for the um, award that have a lower threshold, like 350, for example. If that's the case, you would need to modify that manually in Essentials at the moment, though there are payroll upgrades coming, which will allow this to be altered. So click on next. Here we can set up different wage rates. So in programs like account, right, you've got different payroll categories. This is the same area in essentials. So we can set up penalty rates, bonuses, commissions, allowances, and deductions. To give you an idea, if you click on a penalty rate, you can give it a name and a rate, and you can nominate whether it is going to um, accrue super, annual leave, and sick leave. You've also got the option with allowances to set them before or after tax. Um, and you can change the amount of hours for most of these rates on the pay run itself. So that's handy. Um, if they have super salary sacrifice, you can set that up as a deduction here. Just drop down the type and choose the option and enter in the default amount. So pretty straightforward here just work out what types of rates that they need to have appearing on the timesheet on the pay run. You can then on the pay run, enter in the corresponding amount of hours or dollar figure. Okay. So clicking next from there, we come up to our leave. So in the leave, it'll basically automate based on what you've entered in employee details, the standard award amounts for annual leave. So here we have the four weeks. Um, if you're carrying them over from another software package or partway through a year, you can nominate here an opening balance, which means they will already have annual leave available or maybe negative annual leave. Simply enter in a minus in front of it if that is the case, and that will adjust the current balance available. Here, Same deal with personal leave. So it shows it in an hours format as a lot of people take sick leave in hours instead of days. So um, handy to have that there. And once again, you've got your opening balance if need be. And from there, basically you're good to go. You can leave notes for the employee um, in case you want extra contact details or information about the employee when they're hired or throughout their career as well with your company. And that is setting up employees in Essentials. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to post a comment below, send me an email, always happy to help.